Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we are going to study some important multiple choice questions from the subject Pharmaceutics 1. This video will be very helpful for those pharmacists who is preparing for Government Pharmacist Exam, GPAT, NIPA, Drug Inspector, Drug Analyst and other Pharmacist Competitive Exams. We need your support always so that we can continue to offer you more quality content videos. So support through subscribing NS Pharma YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell button. The first question is one drop is equivalent to options are 0 0.06 ml option b 1 ml option c 0.3 ml option d 0.5 ml one drop is equivalent to this is a simple question the correct answer for this question is option a 0 0.06 ml 0 0.06 ml one drop is 0 0.06 ml one teaspoon is 5 ml and one tablespoon full is 15 ml 1 5 ml okay so one drop is 0 0.06 ml one teaspoon is 5 ml then one tablespoon is 15 ml okay in one ml almost there are 18 to 20 drops in one ml there are almost 20 drops okay now we are moving to the next question question number two chavanaprash is what is chavanaprash options are Solid dosage form, option B, semi solid dosage form, option C, liquid dosage form, option D, none of the above. What is Chavanaprash? Chavanaprash is an Ayurvedic medicine which is used as a dietary supplement which contains honey, sugar, ghee, then gooseberry, etc. Okay, this is an Ayurvedic medicine. So, the correct answer for this question that is Chavanaprash is option B, semi solid dosage form. Chavanaprash is semi-solid dosage form. Question number three. Which mill is used for powdering hard drug? Which mill is used for powdering hard crude drug? Okay. The options are Edge Runner Mill. Option B. Colloidal Mill. Option C. Disintegrator. Option D. Fluid Energy Mill. Which mill is used for powdering hard crude drug hard type okay the correct answer is option c that is disintegrator disintegrator okay now we are moving to the next question question number four sieve number 10 contains sieve number 10 contains option a 10 wires per inch in each direction option b 10 meshes per inch in each direction Option C, both A and B. Option D, none of the above. Sieve number 10 contains. The correct answer is option B, that is 10 meshes per inch in each direction. That is the correct answer. That is sieve number 10. Question number 5. Hammer mill work on the principle of. What is the principle behind the working of? Hammer mill. Hammer mill is a size reduction mill. Options are cutting. Option B, impact. Option C, attrition. Option D, impact and attrition. Hammer mill work on the principle of. The correct answer is option B, that is impact. Impact. Hammer mill is working on the principle of impact. Question number six. The range of filtration is expressed in the form of. The rate of filtration is expressed in the form of options are Fick's law, option B, Darcy's law, option C, Stock's law, option D, none of the above. Which law is stating about the filtration rate? The correct answer is option B, that is Darcy's law. Fick's law says about the diffusion rate and Stock's law tells about the dragging force on a spherical mass when it is traveled through a fluid okay fixed law tells about the diffusion rate and stock's law tells about the dragging force on a spherical mass when it is traveling through a fluid question number seven k 
chemically asbestos is what is asbestos options are charcoal option b silica option c cellulose option d aluminium silicate what is asbestos asbestos the correct answer is option d that is aluminium silicate okay asbestos the first two letter of asbestos is as that represent aluminium silicate okay you can study like this aluminium silicate that is the asbestos question number eight fractional distillation is carried out for separating fractional distillation is carried out for separating options are miscible liquid option b immiscible liquid option c volatile oils option d hormones fractional distillation it is carried out for separating option a that is miscible liquids miscible liquid is the correct answer question number nine oily injections are sterilized by oily injections are sterilized by this is an important question this one already asked in the competitive exam so if you are planning to write any competitive pharmacist exams try to study all the questions and also try to watch or other my youtube videos so that you will get the more information regarding mcqs so you can easily pass the exam now we will see the question oil e injections are sterilized by options are dry heat sterilization option b tindalization option c autoclaving option d uv radiation oily injections are sterilized by the correct answer is option a that is dry heat sterilization question number 10 shik test is performed to check the susceptibility of a individual against what is the purpose of doing shik test shik test is performed to check the susceptibility of an individual against options are tuberculosis option b diphtheria option c polio option d influenza shik test is used against option b that is diphtheria diphtheria is the correct answer what about the mandox test mandox test is a tuberculosis diagnostic test it is used for diagnosis of tb mandox test okay thank you all for watching this video hope you understood these questions if you didn't subscribe until now my channel kindly do the subscription and press the bell button so that whenever i upload new videos you will get the notification thank you